He said, I am, I, I bear sorry, being first duly sworn under oath, depose and state that the foregoing is true and correct and made upon the personal knowledge, and I am competent to justify thereto. Basically, let y'all know he he to he ready to st- get on the stand and, and say what he need to say. He'll say this shit to a jury. He said on the day of February twenty first, twenty fourteen, I attended a party with Courtney Ely and a couple of other friends that I know. During the party, we had fun. After being in the party for a while, I got hungry, so I told Courtney to come with me into Kia the truck stop and get some food. And then we would come back and finish partying. After the food, we met with some friends at the gas station. And after meeting with them, we headed back to our party, to the party. On the way back to the party, me and Courtney talked most of the ride about the females we met at the party that we planned to talk to, to take to a hotel, to be private, to be with privately. On the way back to the party, nobody in the car showed any sign that they were mad or armed with any weapon or was trying to shoot anyone. I know that Courtney wasn't armed because his clothes were so tight that I would have noticed and I had been with him the whole day. Once we got back to the housing project where the party was, Courtney stated that he wanted to get to purchase some marijuana and that he would see if the man in the car who was sitting had some. After 30 seconds on so Courtney ran after 30 seconds or so, Courtney ran back to the car with a shock and surprised look on his face. Courtney was empty handed when he got to the car and did not see him. And I did not see him shoot anyone. Yo, y'all know what it is. and Y'all know what it ain't. Foe, I have to apologize to my boy Tay. I ain't gonna lie, foe. And I don't want to be one of them niggas, foe, that backtrack on what they said. Because I'm not. I'm not going to backtrack on what I said. I felt Tay 600 should have owned up to the statement he said years ago. Because it wasn't like he just came out snitching. He was snitched on. And when you snitched on, they put your back against the wall. And it's all about how you handle that situation. But after I made that live, I felt like I'm the reason why Texas 100 even exposing D-Rose right now. And I feel bad. Because I didn't know him and Byron Blake had that history. I didn't know that type of history was going on between the whole situation. I just thought it was paperwork. But now I feel like it's getting to the point where... After I did that that live, that everybody coming for Texas 100, and now he got to let the world know the real. And after I did that live, Texas 100 hopped in the DMs. He didn't come in disrespectful. He didn't disrespect me, called me some type of lame blogger. He came in and said, bro, you just going to get him clout without knowing the real. We chopped it up, and we talked for a minute, bro. We talked for like a day, not on the phone back and forth, but we messaged each other for a day. LA gang, y'all go follow him on Instagram And he basically let me know the real He sent me some shit that I'll never show the world And he told me some shit I'll never tell the world But far as this D-Rose thing I feel like the the world put his back against the wall And he didn't even want to do or say this Honestly, because he been holding on to this paperwork And this information for years And he didn't want to be the kind of guy that's throwing D-Rose under the bus Because people are coming from him But like I said, I feel like me bringing this stuff back up Put his back against the wall And now he has to let the world know the real I apologize for that. Sometimes you, I don't really understand the word. Even bloggers, I don't think understand when you get to a certain level, you can change and affect people's lives. So I have to apologize on that fact. And I thank T600 for hopping in the DMs like a real man and not, you know what I'm saying, getting on some overbuff, the tough shit because he big as hell. But I'm on this live Friday, I'm going to clear it up. He turned down the interview. He was good on the interview. He just wanted to let me know the real. And now I didn't want to speak on this. When he showed me... And he told me about the D-Rose paperwork. I didn't want to speak on it. That's why when he told me that shit Saturday, you see, I never made a video about it. I never told y'all anything about it. But now since he's coming out saying it, he's pretty much saying what I'm about to say is true. The fact that D-Rose 600 gave a statement first. He gave a statement around the same time 600, I mean, Tay 600 did. And do you consider that snitching? I put the paperwork in the beginning. He also put the paperwork online. It's actually been floating around. I was even unaware of that. But... Let me see who was all in the car. Tay 600, D Rose. They say love boo. It was a couple more people in the car, and the fact that they was all snitched on and Tay 600 is the real main villain of this whole scene is crazy because they was all snitched on. Everybody hang around the female still to this day, but they get Tay all types of grief. And now that's something I never liked. I never liked how they was taking pictures with the females, and but they were still trying to uh, ostracize Tay. Tay just showed y'all the paperwork with D-Rose. I put the paperwork in the beginning. And just like Byron Blake said in our live, 
It has the notoriety from the the uh, the state's attorney on the um, affidavit for Tay. Even though D Rose written this handwritten, he written it and then he sent it to the state's attorney and they stamped it. So that's an official affidavit, even though it was written on a piece of paper. Tay six hundred said it first. I just clarified it and backed it up. Psst. What did you think about this? D Rose six hundred was there. He gave a statement, but ain't nobody coming for him. I think y'all should leave Tay alone and just let this bygones be bygones and just t chuck it up as everybody gave their side of the story. Nobody snitched, but everybody gave their side of the story. Get in the comment section. Let me know if y'all agree. I'm gone.